So in the wheel of relationship management within HR, one of the things that you have to be brilliant at is negotiating. What do I mean by that? When you're negotiating, you want someone to get to a decision or an action, right? Sometimes you need them to take an action based off of the decision they want to make. Now, remember this, everyone always has the ability when it's employment at will to make a decision. They can either follow the rules or, hey, you can decide that it no longer makes sense to work here anymore. They could also decide to sue potentially, right? So that's why how you negotiate and the negotiating skill is such a huge part of relationship management. What would be an example of that? An example would be within relationship management. If you know that you're having an issue, you're walking into a new role, you're in your first 90 days. The first thing you want to do is sometimes solve problems. Oh, you know, an employee comes in the office. I'm having an issue with this person on my team or a manager or whatever it may be. You know, can, can you like, what, what can we do? I mean, I'm having an issue. Well, you want to go ahead and the first piece of that is going to be, you want to launch a little bit of an investigation. You want to also understand and negotiate with that person before they leave, negotiate on what is the problem that you need me to solve for? Cause you're in my office, you're reporting to me something. What are we negotiating for right now? What is you, what is it that you want? Do you just want to be heard? Do you need me to take an action? Do you have some type of right you feel has been violated? Even getting that information itself is a negotiation. Some people may not want to share it, right? Some people may want you to take an action, but don't feel comfortable giving you enough information. So when you communicate in those situations as an HR person, that's where you really have to be effective at how do I get this person to make a decision or how do we decide what action is going to come of this decision, right? So in your relationship management skill building <laughs> in your career, you really want to make sure that negotiating is something that you learn how to do. Example would be to some people um, like to like Chris Boss's book, Never Split the Difference. Right. And the idea is not that you can never have a scenario where there's a 50 50 split. It's just don't just split the difference just to split the difference, because that means it didn't mean anything to anyone. It was just an arbitrary number. It's about going deeper and understanding what's the value of that person's problem. What's the perceived gap they see? Sometimes you might think that splitting the difference might be 5000 versus 2000. Let's split the difference and make it, you know, 3500 $1,500 here, $1,500 there. That that maybe didn't solve it. Maybe that person only thought it was a two hundred dollar problem, right? And it could have just been a hundred hundred is splitting the difference, and you're still happy, right? So never splitting the difference means you're getting very clear on what is it that they want, minus what it is that I want. Where's the gap? And from that gap, what resources and tools do we have to make a decision and solve this problem? So as long as you guys keep that in mind, you're going to keep building great relationships built on amazing negotiations. And just make sure as you guys go along, one of the skill sets you want to focus on is how do you negotiate with other people and learning to communicate those negotiations effectively.